Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about preparing to go to mediation or having any sort of negotiation session with a narcissist. You know, this is a crucial step in the outcome of your divorce, of your custody case, or your business settlement. But unfortunately, I know a lot of my clients view it as just a necessary step that they have to do in order to either get to court or get to trial, or people think that this is the ultimate time when they can make a settlement with the narcissist. And I kind of want to discuss a, a little bit about what mediation is, negotiating with a narcissist is actually about. I want to talk to you about how to prepare, what to prepare for, and then I want to give you something that can actually really help you when it comes time to step into the negotiation or mediation space. So first of all, you need to understand that your personal preparation for mediation or negotiation is cannot be overestimated, okay? You need to do the inner work on forgiveness, on acceptance, of understanding where you are, you need to be very clear with your goals and your limits and your priorities. You need to know what is an absolutely non-negotiable thing for you and what the primary goal of the negotiation is going to be. I know a lot of people, like I mentioned earlier, are either in there to like hurry up and get it over with so they can get into a courtroom and litigate this situation. And then there's other people who believe this is their one and only opportunity and they have to leave with a settlement or you know they're the the rest of the time is going to be just this huge drawn drawn out argumentative situation and they don't want that right but neither of these things are actually embracing what negotiation is all about if you are prepared to sit down and mediate with a narcissist you need to be a detective that entire situation just needs to be about finding out information. If you can control your emotions long enough to actually hear the narcissist, to make them feel understood, to make them feel secure in their position, they will literally tell you, number one, what it is that they ultimately want out of the situation, but number two, they will be a lot less likely to fight you on the issues that you are there to fight. So when it, we are talking about preparing, you need to gather your documentation, okay? So you need to gather up all re relevant documents, your financial records, communication records, any evidence that will support your position. You are not going to solely rely on these things, but you are going to gather them because you need to have a complete picture of, of your standpoint, but you're also going to do the same thing for the narcissist standpoint. You want to research and anticipate what the narcissist is gonna say. You wanna be prepared for common tactics that they're gonna use during negotiation. And you need to prepare yourself emotionally for, for not only that time during the, the actual mediation, but also in uh, leading up unto that negotiation because actually every single time you communicate with the narcissist you are either setting the stage to create an agreement or to create discord i am not talking about allowing the narcissist to continuously run over your uh boundaries to not have any limits with the narcissist i'm not talking about that but i am saying if you can shift your perspective and you can start using these opportunities as simply information gathering um, opportunities, you're going to be in a much better position when you actually sit down to negotiate. You should be utilizing your attorney during this process. Again, picking the right attorney is the second most important part of your case. The first most, most important part of your case is you, which is another reason why it is so important that you do the inner work, that you get the healing done. Because you could have the best attorneys on the planet and you can still lose your case if you are not fully ready to show up healed, whole, and ready to actually put on a legal argument. If this is just going to be a grievance airing session, if you just want somebody to validate your emotions, 
that's what you're going to get, but you're going to lose your legal case. Okay. So you need to choose the right attorney and use your attorney. Your attorney should be helping you prep for the negotiation. And you guys should be on the same page about negotiation standards, uh, about what the process is going to be like. Clear expectations between you and your attorney are a necessary thing to have. You need to communicate your goals, your concerns, any specific strategies you'd like to employ during mediation. You have to have a strategy that takes into account the narcissist's behavior as well as the narcissist attorney's behavior, who is likely a narcissist, as well as the fact that the mediator can also be co-opted by the narcissist, okay? Role-playing and uh, rehearsing the negotiation is something that you should not skip. Do the mock sessions and prepare for potential scenarios and responses because when you have already put your body, you've actually already put your entire system into a place where you're being told no or you're being threatened or you're being accused of something that's an outright lie, the less likely you are to have an emotional reaction or overreaction when it when that time is precious right when it comes down to what it it when it matters you also want to know how to rely on your attorney because the attorney should be acting as a buffer during the mediation session you want to have your attorney handle direct communication with the narcissist during the mediation because this will reduce emotional stress and again your job is actually to collect information you should be hearing what they are saying, not emotionally reacting to what they are saying and trying to find ways to counteract whatever they just said. This is not trial. This is mediation. This is negotiation. This is what you need to be focusing on um, in that moment. Again, you are a detective. You also want to leverage your attorney's legal knowledge, right? You want to make sure that if there is a proposed settlement, that it would comply with the law, that it's actually something that you can sign because what a lot of people don't realize is that even if you two agree on something, that doesn't mean that it's a legally binding thing. And oftentimes y'all agreeing to something in the mediation session, oftentimes we'll leave out how. How are we actually going to get to this thing? How are we going to implement this agreement? There's so many steps that are typically overlooked because everybody just wants to be focused on, uh, I want a settlement agreement. So again, having the right mindset, having the right frame of mind, understanding exactly what you are stepping into that room to do, and having the framework laid for that before you get there is so important. This year for my Black Friday sale, I have put together 25 key phrases and questions that you can use with the narcissist during mediation to help you gather information to help elicit more responses from the narcissist. In addition to that, I have also rolled out an entire negotiating with a narcissist course. In this course, I'm going to tell you exactly how to identify what it is that you want out of the mediation session or a settlement agreement in general. I also teach you how to utilize the other 93% of communication that isn't verbal. Verbal communication only makes up 7%. Actually, the words, the content of a sentence or a statement is actually only 7% of what makes up communication. And you need to know how you are damaging your potential settlement agreements with the other 93% that you are not taking into consideration. I also tell you how to tell if you are on the right track to winning a settlement to see if you are on the right track to actually getting what you want, why you should never compromise on your non-negotiables. A lot of people get into a situation where they're like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cross this red line. They sit down. They've been in a room all day for eight hours. They want to leave with a settlement and they cave in on something that they are now stuck with for nearly two decades of their life. That does not need to be you. So if you want to get either my compilation of the 25 phrases and questions, it's only $1 and you can purchase it in the description of this video. And if you want to get the full course, it's also in the description of this video. As many of you know, if you've been watching my channel, I know I can guarantee the outcome of my coaching. But one thing that I'm really working on now is refining that timeline. I'm, I've been curious as to why some of my clients can walk away within weeks of coaching with me 
with exactly what they want from the narcissist and why some people it has taken them over two years to get. And I want to shrink that timeline. I know it's easy to say it's the narcissist. They're not capable of negotiating. I don't even want to negotiate. I know they won't do it. But honestly, there's so many things that you control that most of the time you aren't implementing because either one, number one, you don't know that you're not implementing them, or number two, you actually haven't killed your own ego yet. You haven't actually fully healed those wounds. You're allowing your wounds to dictate your actions, your behavior, your words, and it's driving the the length of time that it is taking you to win either in court or out of court. And my goal as a coach is to not only get you what you want, but help to reduce the amount of time that you are spending in litigation. This is costly for you. You are paying a ton of money to uh, your attorney, to court fees, to other things that have to happen if you have to hire third parties for your case. And it's also really hard for people to be in limbo so long, right? So you had this one life and now you're going to start this other life. But in the middle, you have this super long two-year bridge. And it's difficult for you. It's super difficult for your children. And I really want to shrink that down. So please check out my course because you don't need to be in a, an official mediation session with a narcissist in order to host negotiation sessions. Actually, every single time, there's only one time that your communication with a narcissist will not be laying the foundation directly for a negotiation session, and that's if you're simply communicating information. But even in that instance, how you communicate the information, the other 93% that isn't just the actual words, the actual content of your message is still being uh, deposited into the, the atmosphere that is going to ultimately set and dictate your negotiation. Holidays coming up and holiday schedules around the corner. I want you to know how to implement these techniques, these tactics, whether you are sitting in an official mediation or if you're just communicating over talking parents or our family wizard. If you just simply want some words to be using, you can get my 25 phrases and questions that you should be using in nearly every single interaction with a narcissist down below. It's only $1. Linked in the description is also my course. That's gonna be on sale for the rest of November as well. That course will always be available to you, but it is going up to its normal price of $250 after this month. So if you need those things, I highly encourage you to go check them out now, and I will see you in our next video.